everybody, Stefan here from EDC Austria and today I would like to talk about Noble Spin spinners. Noble Spin has been among the first spinner makers and it has been among the very first to recognize this is a real business, which means they, they constructed nice packaging and built nice cutouts. They also give you a nice gloss, a, a branded gloss with your product and also they usually make quite sure that most of the most of their products are in stock. And we have here the Virtu, the Vantage and one of their cheap offerings the Nebulus which is an acrylic spinner with stainless steel weights. Let's talk about this one first. This goes for only $29 at the moment. It's not broken in yet, but currently it goes, it, it spins for about 1 minute and 30 seconds, but it should spin for about 150 seconds if it's, if it's nicely broken in. And by broken in, I mean that Noble Spin created their own bearings. They use 608 bearings, but they imported the balls from Japan. The nylon cages are made in the US and the races are from Germany. And then that's all hand assembled. It's, it's CNC machined the outer part and then it's all polished by hand. They are, they are based in Austin, Texas. And depending on what you want what you want to spend, you can get very good spinners for a very affordable price, especially since they recently dropped their prices. Because the Vantage used to be 79, now it's 59. This one used to be 59, now it's 39 and the Nebulus used to be 39 and is now 29. Since they introduced their new website, which they only did a few weeks ago, they had to coincide with lowering their prices. And their spinners are basically very simple spinners, but they are a lot of fun both to spin and to have run for a longer time. This one usually goes up to three minutes, but we'll see that later in the spin test. And it has chamfered edges. There is not a hard edge anywhere to be found on this. And I really like the use of 608 bearings in this one, because it gives you that nice haptic feedback that many of us want in a spinner. So if you spin it, you actually feel that there's something spinning and you don't have to look over and check if it's really actually still spinning. From a size comparison, the Virtu, which is basically the same thing as the Vantage, only one centimeter shorter, this one is 52 millimeters, this one is 62 millimeters and this one is 72 millimeters. So with each model there is a centimeter of difference. Just to show you in relation, here is the, the Pepiaka 3 spinner which is about the size of the Vantage. They also, you have also the options of many different colors. You can have it full golden or full stainless or like I do golden finger pads with stainless body or vice versa. And you can of course exchange those. And especially the small one is a nice spinner to just take with you if you don't have too much space in your pocket. 
and just spin for a bit because they are very sturdy spinners as opposed to the Pepe Archer who breaks at every opportunity but this one are really great spinners they go through a lot with me and they haven't shown any sign of weakness let's check out the weight so here we have 56.8 grams then we have the Virtu which has 64.8 and finally the Vantage has 76.4 and just again in comparison the Pepiaka has 63.1 so you see they are right in the middle and actually there isn't too much to tell about these spinners they are nicely packaged they are nicely made hand polished and put together by hand not by machines they are checked each one is quality controlled in the United States and you can never get a bad product with them and I had some I issues in the beginning with the shipment and their cons customer support was fantastic about it so now I got everything that I ordered really a great company and the good thing is they have a good selection of spinners you so you can get two or three and that saves on shipping costs if you are like me outside of the United States so I guess all that's left is a spinning test but for, for this not to get too long I think we'll just do the lightest one and the heaviest one. Okay this one is moving a bit on the surface so I don't think the time is really representative there seems to be a bit of wobble involved Okay, 132.59 although it did move a bit on the on the structure in the beginning so if you if you spun it in your hand it would have been for a much longer time and they say up to 150 seconds when it's broken in and since these are ceramic bearings with with steel cages they will break in over time and now let's do the vantage Okay, 2 minutes 58 seconds and 5100. But usually, if I spin it on a table that's not softened down there, which absorbs or creates some, some, some vibrations, it goes up to 3 minutes and 30 seconds. And as for the traveling that this one did slightly and the wobble, they addressed this on their website and said that this is because there are, there are different densities of a crew in this spinner and they can't make sure that it's all the same density 
So that's why it's not perfectly balanced. If you want a perfectly balanced one, you go for the word to or for the vintage, which I of course did. But even if you just want a cheap spinner, but then a name brand to start with, this one is quite a good first spinner for you. And they have very decent prices for a name brand. I can absolutely recommend them. They are all fun to spin. They are high quality. They run well. They don't wobble a lot when you turn from horizontal to vertical. Really not a, really nothing bad to say about them. The only thing is that some people these days prefer R188 bearings. But if you want a tactile feel, then you will want to go with 608 bearings. I hope this was informative for you. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you want to be informed about future videos, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Have a great day. Bye bye.